I'm doing stock rad to stock rad. Rad, stock rad with aux cores. R rad with aux cores. Heat exchanger, stock heat exchanger, and then possibly full Mishimoto cooling package. That's a lot of testing. Two and a half weeks of solid testing. This is gonna be on the dyno for a long time. It's gonna be on the dyno for a long time. So if you miss a video, you can just literally pick a day and come out. It's gonna be, we're gonna go through so much gasoline. What I'm doing here uh, right now is test fitting the rad and the heat exchanger. And really what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the gaps between the two cores are the same, that there's clearance between the header plates, and that all the mounting points and all the associated you know, hardware locate properly on these cores. I'm also testing O-ring seals. So what we'll do is we'll take these connectors off and then we'll put it in our dunk tank and put pressure in here to make sure that the O-ring sealing faces are in fact sealing properly on all the quick disconnects. So these are our um, aux rad replacements. So the aux rads go in here. And what happens is uh, on this engine, there's a valve that basically changes the flow of coolant depending on what driving condition you're in, whether it's a cold start warm up or a fully loaded, you know, really hot, hard run. It's gonna divert the coolant through different parts of your primary cooling system, and this is part of that. And they have stone guards on the stock ones. So we have like little attachment points here. If you wanted to use the stone guards on these, you could, but you don't have to, because these are a fully strutted tube which are extremely strong.